me, welcome back, Ivo. Ivo, my love, thank you. Me, I have something I need to discuss right now, but we'll also catch up on what you did on your vacation. I know you were with the Vegan High Council and you were in our family home, and I know they had a big send-off party for you just before you left. Ivo, this did indeed happen, my love. It was good to see so many people I have not seen in years, coming from other planets and from other star systems. We have many good friends. Me, yeah, so on that note, I'm going to jump into what I need to discuss here. Ivo, I know what is coming. Yet another man tried to convince you to have sex with him. Me, yeah, he won't stop. Why do people think that if you're not getting any, that you need to? With chronic fatigue, sex is the last thing on your mind. Just getting out of bed and prepping vegetables for dinner is the first thing. Dirt on the living room carpet that needs to be vacuumed is the next. Sex is way down the list. Besides, you and I are making love all the time. It's extremely unusual to have to tell someone you're not interested in having sex with earthlings anymore because you're with a man from outer space. I gave that up when it got so painful I couldn't stand it. I wasn't looking for sex, I was looking for someone to love. I'm frankly split between just walking away and ignoring this guy, or just sitting there snickering inside as he continues to try to convince me I need to have sex with him. I have told him honestly that there's no way but he won't stop. Why do people think that sex is so important that you can't go without? I realize it has its benefits but when you're not with the right person, sex sucks. I know all my life I was looking for Ivo, one morning even waking up crying, saying that I know I'm with someone I love at night time, but I can't remember who he is. Ivo, yes. You were close at that point, unfortunately you were retagged afterwards and all but forgot about that incident. Me, that was my whole life, the dark's attempts to keep me from awakening, fighting off their attempts to constrict my life to their narrative, like that worked. So this guy keeps telling me what a great lover he is and how women love to have sex with him, and he is very good at giving women orgasms, as a matter of fact it bothers him if they don't have at least one. Obviously this is his ego compensating for other parts of his life, where he believes he's a total loser, even calling himself an asshole at times. I really wish there were better people to talk to, the odd time I feel like conversing with anyone, I prefer to do it face to face. I just did a video with Adama on, seeing through the lies, and I can see the game this guy's ego is running on him. I can see right through it. Otherwise I don't mind talking to him, but when he sends his kid to bed, yes, he's with someone and has children, what a surprise. Why do people bother getting connected to other people when they're only going to screw around anyway? Why bother? Just stay single. But when he sends his kid to bed, he gets right on with discussing our supposed sex life together. He suffers from anxiety and has trouble leaving the house. The only reason he hits on me, a woman twice his age, is because he doesn't feel anxious going as far as my apartment, which is right next door. I've told him outright, I'm with someone I love, I don't care if he's from another world, frankly he'd have to be considering my luck with men on earth anyway. But he still seems to think I need to have sex, and sex with him. Which brings me to the Zeta Seal. Ivo, what is it and what effect does it have on our sex lives here? Or does it? Oh yeah, and how do I get him to give up? Ivo, how to get him to stop? Stop talking to him. He will not stop, my love because as you have noticed before, he is in his own little bubble. You almost saw an actual bubble around him as he was talking about his sexual prowess that day and you realized he is deluding himself. Nobody else is swayed by his need to see himself as a wonderful sexual partner but him. Yes, the Zeta Seal is involved in this. Me, how so? Ivo. The Zeta Seal is a tag that is implanted on all on planet Earth. It sits at a fourth dimensional level, the heart level, and it is up to each individual to release their own heart of its restrictions. 
to break the seal, so to speak. Until such time, you are largely in your intellects and lower frequency emotional mindset where heart plays no role in your everyday lives. For so many, this means the pursuit of meaningless sex and empty orgasms as a means of stress release and enlarging one's ego, and nothing more. The reason anyone would have sex without love is because the Zeta seal is in place. Also you must consider that sexual vampirism is also the agenda of the attachment or attachments running this fellow's life and since you are such a good source of energy, you often attract these shallow men. It is the same story you have always lived by, the dark ones attempting to lower your frequency. Any way they can do it, they will, and they are desperate now, my love. Desperate. My love, you broke through yours when you went into dark night of the soul. Now, with your higher energies connecting to your lower mind, you see the emptiness of sex for its own sake. It must be in a higher context otherwise you gladly abstain. You realize I am the only one for you and that you have been searching for me all your life. Me, I do. Sex without love is just acrobatics. So it's really causing us to stay in our lower minds. Ivo, not you, my love. You often feel so much compassion for these people that you have a hard time walking away from them, but ultimately you do it with every one of them. Me, I do and I don't. I don't always feel compassion for someone who is trying to do something that has caused me so much pain in my life. Ivo, that is because when you are doing something that is under the heart, of lower vibration than heart, you will feel pain. So having sexual relations with someone for only the reason of having an orgasm is painful to you. When you are a high dimensional, you cannot relate to others in lower frequency ways, otherwise you suffer. This includes working life, personal relations, sexual relations, all facets of life. All facets of life have to be ascended for you, otherwise you will suffer. Me, suppose there is no one to relate to. They're all like that around here. Ivo, yes, and you do sacrifice daily for the sakes of the people of Earth simply by living among them, that is your sacrifice. You cannot get your true needs met in a world that is of such low frequency, on the contrary, you tend to suffer. Many of you have undergone traumatic lives in order to help the people of Earth to change. An earthling would better be able to sustain themselves in situations like these but the higher dimensional is being poisoned by lower frequency lifestyles. As for this fellow, he will not stop because he truly believes all women need to have sex with him, he is such a skillful lover. Me, lol I'm just waiting for him to figure it out and become normal. Like, give it up. Ivo, he will not. He will only become more frustrated and this will add to his alcohol abuse. Me, maybe I'm the one who will finally help to break his bubble and bring him back to reality. Being with a woman isn't a question of having kids with one, and then bawling every other one you see that you like. It's a question of admitting you're human, humans make mistakes and owning up to what you've done wrong and living with yourself. Clearly he's created a super sexy man persona for himself because he needs to feel invincible. He's trying to counter his shadow by creating a persona that's incredibly powerful and sexy. As if. But to me, he comes across as lecherous. I wonder how he feels when he continually strikes out with me. Time and time again, he doesn't get what he wants. He's so deluded he thinks the more he tries, he'll end up winning eventually. He doesn't know me, not at all. Ivo, I know you have him figured out, my love. But he will not stop. He needs to be able to have his way with whomever he chooses. He needs this control. Me, lol well, he's met his Waterloo because it's not going to happen. Ivo, perhaps you might make it easier for him and leave him alone. Me, that's an idea. Otherwise I like him. I know he's of higher consciousness as well, but he hasn't done his inner work so his shadow is creating a hellish life for him now. He needs to face his pain, and he does any number of things to avoid it, including drinking and trying to screw around. Ivo, how many others whose soul you sensed did you have to let go of? Me, yeah, 
he wouldn't be the first one. I can't help him, not when his ego makes me the object of its attention. It's like he's even put up a psychological barrier between me and him by doing this, because if anyone can connect him to his soul, I can. Ivo, which is a good point, my love. You have had many heart-to-heart -heart conversations with him and he has told you he is empathic, but he persists in this ego game. If he were to drop it, you might make some progress in helping him deal with his pain, but his shadow only becomes more persistent. Me, that's too bad. Yeah, it could be a defense because he seemed to stop it for a while. Now he's being more persistent. Oh well. I keep saying, this earth has a lot of growth to go through. It's gonna be hard. Ivo, it need not be. When all demonics are off the planet, it should be easier for people to begin to change. Me, yeah, not surprising. Me trying to help a person while fighting their attachments. Not the first time. What about tagging and seals? Ivo, they will still have to break through them themselves. These tags and seals will remain as part of your future work. Me, funny, as we were sitting outside, I could see all kinds of things moving around in the street. The matrix must really be falling because I'm seeing what's beyond it far more easily. Ivo, it is. You saw the figure of a head and a back walking down the road. Me, I wasn't sure it was even human. At first guess, I'd say it was a Zeta. Ivo, this is possible. You are seeing into their world now. Me, I also saw a red ship a couple weeks ago while we were outside, and Commander Aaron said to let him know if I do because they're after those. Ivo, yes. It was not a planet. It was a ship, one of the dark ships. Very well, my love. Remember that dealing with egos only causes you pain. Connecting to those of lower frequency and interacting at that frequency level is folly. It is better to be alone than to connect with someone of a third dimensional frequency, especially now. You must discard others to live upon their own timelines. The timelines are side by side right now and you are still capable of seeing the others on other timelines and interacting with them. But it can be difficult. If there is no distancing, or sending of love, then only pain can result as your frequency drops. Look for signs of confusion. If you feel confused, you are lowering in frequency. Me, I'm not confused. I just want to help him. Ivo, but does he want to help himself, that is the question, my love. You remember you feared looking at your past pain, but it turned out to be bearable. Me, I went through dark night of the soul for five years. Not sure about bearable. Ivo, it was bearable because you made it through. Me, so just a reminder for people. The unconscious play ego games, which are low frequency and often inspired by their attachments as a means of creating sources of lush. When you get involved in them, it can lower your frequency, which is what the dark wants. We're ascending now and everyone is at their own levels. Some have to go higher because they can and others stay behind because they have to learn. It'll get easier for them to do so. It won't be the big deal it was for us to fight off the dark and to rise in vibration. That's the other thing, why do men grow those Duck Dynasty beards anyway? Yes, they're influenced by TV but every guy that has one seems to be attracted to me. Ivo, facial hair is a symbol of masculinity. It is one thing a woman cannot do. Me, so does that mean anything? Ivo, it could. As for your friend, he is a hunter as well, so obviously he enjoys and is influenced by that program, because it focuses on hunting. Me, yeah, getting your style off of television. We've probably done a video on that. I know I probably commented on that. I have no style and I certainly don't care to look like anyone on TV. I just do my own thing. Ivo, which shows you are not ego-minded, my love. Me, when I think of so many matrix traps I've gotten myself out of in my lifetime I shake my head. I don't do matrix. I do as my soul directs me to. 
and I'm happier that way. Being like everyone else was never my mindset. Ivo, and when you think about it, my love, you had to grow out of any inclination you had to align with the group because how would you be able to do this work now if you were insistent on fitting in? You do not fit in and you accept yourself that way. Me, truth. Thank you Ivo. Ivo, my love, we will be together next year. I will never leave your side nor you mine. Yes, I understand that only one thing that will stop such a man from coming onto you is another man, and even then some do not stop. Often for people of this sort, because women do it as well, the chase is more fun than the prize. And this man is a hunter, so he will not give up until he gets what he wants. Me, so I have to put up with the nuisance. I have one rule already, he doesn't come in here without his kid and if he's been drinking. Winter is coming and so I won't be outside much and won't see them. Then I'll be gone in the spring. I can't wait to leave the city. Going out into the country and being absolutely alone would be wonderful because I wouldn't have to relate to this 3D shit anymore, but having you there makes it all so worth it, Ivo.